Hello my lovelies, this is gonna be our weekly love reading. So I put up a poll a couple weeks ago asking you guys what kind of love messages you were interested in. The highest number was singles, because obviously you wanna know what or who's coming in for you, so singles will still be included. Couples got zero, so nobody is interested in watching the couples readings, so that is fine. We're going to exclude that title of couples from the viewing. Um, the next one we had was separation, so if you're in separation from somebody, no matter what the reason is, whether you're in a committed relationship, separated from a spouse, or a twin flame scenario. The other one was the twin flame or soulmate category. So those are the ones that we're gonna keep on the channel for now. If you're desperately looking for more love readings, comment, let me know. Tell me specifically what type of readings you're interested in and I will try and incorporate those into the channel for my viewers. So without further ado, we're gonna do this a little different. So I'm making some changes to the channel. Bear with me, we're gonna see what works and what doesn't. If it doesn't work, we're gonna check it in the fuck it bucket and we're gonna start from scratch because that's how I roll. So we're gonna go singles, separation, and twin flames. So we're gonna start with our singles. And I will timestamp this in the comments for you guys. So single Pringles, what do we need to know? How is life treating my singles? All right, bought my first house and financial matters going well. So moving on up in the world, love to see that. Fabulous, darling. Things are going well and life is what you make of it. So make it good. It doesn't have to be negative. Things can change and improve for the better. Celebrations, birthdays, parties, good news, and anniversaries. So maybe you're attending some sort of gathering uh, or some positive changes are coming in and start over. It may be time to make a fresh start. Don't waste your life. Get out there and live. So let's see what else we've got going on for my single Pringles. What do they need to know? Singles. What do they need to know for now until the end of the month? All right, self-indulgence. It might be time to start focusing on yourself. Things like self-worth, shadow work, healing, if there's been some sort of painful ending. You may have been dealing with a self-absorbed narcissist or somebody who love-bombed you. And so I feel like you need to heal that toxic pattern so that it doesn't repeat, right? Because if we don't learn the lesson, we're gonna keep repeating that lesson with other people. The mask, somebody might not be showing their true feelings and emotions at this time time. Somebody could also be pretending, hiding, or gaslighting you, so watch out. Cupid's arrow. Love this one. So I feel like you're leaving the negativity behind because something better is finally starting to come in. Have faith that love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting could bring some hesitation. Let's get one more of these. Two more. The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Things coming to light. It may be time to adapt, change, and heal. And not today. Somebody needs some boundaries because they are still angry and not ready to deal with a certain somebody. Okay, what do we need to know for the singles? What do we need to know? All right. There might be a major lesson that you need to see in this situation. So take the lesson and grow. It's time to release the pain and forgive and forget. You also need to get out there and have a little bit more fun in life. So where's your playful side? And you are focused on healing, especially core wounds at this time. Retreat. Some inner work is definitely needed. Disconnect from the world and new love is coming. You also have Cupid's arrow, so that definitely would resonate. Let's get you some harsh truths. What do my single Pringles need to know? All right. What are they hiding? Ooh, yeah, somebody's hiding how they feel. The mask is out here. Soul family, belonging enough and fitting in. So I feel like whoever this new person is could be part of your soul family, somebody that makes you feel like you actually fit in. What else do we have? No fakes, the genuine article only. I feel like you have dealt with a lot of people that either gaslit you, were narcissist, or very, very fake. And so this is the time where you don't settle. This is the time where you set up those boundaries and you don't back down from now from those because there are real genuine people still out there and I feel like spirit is trying to put one of those in your path reality check second opinion seek the truth about this so if it feels too good to be true it usually is so use discernment you're looking for someone who's loving devoted kind and affectionate and I do feel like that is who is coming in for you what are some signs that my singles need to not ignore what do they need to see 
What signs to not ignore? Ooh, can you find the silver lining? Can you find the good in a bad situation? I feel like you can, but you're going to have to shift your perspective. Spirit says stop. Don't go forward. It's time to stop. Don't keep going with a narcissist. Don't keep going with people who gaslight you. You need to break that. You're going to come to a fork in the road and you're going to have to make a decision. So it will be a deciding moment for you. Do you decide to heal and let go and grow? Or do you decide to stay stuck and stagnant? Say that five times fast. Uno reverse. Some sort of turnaround changes or a start over. So something's definitely changing and karma is being dealt. Okay, so we are in Saturn in retrograde. That's the planet of karma. What goes around comes around. That's how karma works. What you put out there is what you will receive. Hopefully you're on the receiving end of something good. So be cautious with that because karma sees everything. I feel like for those of you that are innocent and faultless in this situation, good karma is going to find you. And for those of you that are not, you're going to reap the rewards. All right. What else do we need to know for singles? Tell me what we need to know for singles for the month of August. All right, we are leaving something behind. We're trying to find the good in a bad situation and letting go of the dead weight and the baggage. We're manifesting a fresh start and a new beginning, but that takes strength and courage in order to face our fears. There is good news and positivity coming in and a reason to celebrate, and for some of you, it could be some sort of unexpected money. The deception will be revealed, so don't worry if someone's deceiving you or gaslighting you, that will be exposed. And I feel like you're trying to balance maybe furthering your education and some bright ideas. Definitely a juggling act here. You gotta let something go in order to create the balance. A new love offer coming out of the blue, very unexpected, is coming in. For some of you, it could be a soulmate or somebody that you've known for a very long time. Well, Jenna, when is all this stuff going to happen? Well, I just so happen to have a deck called Timing is Everything. So let's see. Tell me when the new love offer is coming in. Winter, December, January, and February. I can't hold the cards today. So winter time, something new is coming in. What else for timing? What are we needing to see? Daytime. A yes from the universe, okay, closer than you think it is, triple nine, make your dreams a reality, a completion of a goal or a cycle is coming, you might start seeing 999 in summertime. So between June, July, and August, and December, January, and February, your new person is coming in. In that time frame, you're going to be working on yourself. You might need to do some shadow work. You might need to learn some harsh lessons. But as a result, you will be rewarded, and that is your good karma. All right. Those of you that are in separation, let's see what we've got going on for you in your situation. What do people in separation from their person need to know? Bought my first car, adulting, being responsible with money. Maybe you actually have more money if you are separated from a certain somebody. Bills past due, money issues, cut unnecessary spending until things level out. So be cautious. Don't get in over your head right now just because you want something. I feel like you need to be responsible and definitely don't overspend. Karen, Chad, Kevin, and Amber, annoying, complaining, and an attention whore. Hopefully not. Hopefully you're not dealing with somebody who's a total Karen. Um, I feel like you need to be cautious of the company that you keep at this time. And start over. Make a fresh start. Don't waste your life. It's time to get out there and live. All right. What do we have going on for the people in separation for love for the month of August? What do they need to know? Couples in separation. People in separation from their person. All right, it may be time to release an X and clear your energy. Um, I feel like if you're still holding on to somebody that there's no hope that things are going to be fixed or change or go forward, then you're in stuck stagnant energy and that's not conducive for good news for your future. So you want to release that. Spirit's asking you to have trust and faith that they will bring the right person at the right time. Finances and career could also be affecting your love life right now. And the honeymoon. I read this card three different ways. One is a honeymoon phase in a new relationship, two is a literal honeymoon, and three is timing because it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you could be meeting somebody around holidays. All right, Spirit's asking you to pay attention to the red flags and use caution. Know that the signs are cautioning you. All right, what do we need to see here? What's going on? What's happening for the people in separation? Ooh, 
All right, you might be welcoming in some unconditional love if you're able to release an ex. So that starts with self-love, self-care, things like that where you're aware of what you deserve and what you don't deserve. That could lead to an engagement. So for some of you, you might be going forward towards next level love. What else do we need to see? Ooh, that was quick. Okay, we got a bunch of them that popped out. Okay, let's see what we have. All right, the phoenix. It is time to transform, and like a phoenix, you will rise. Something is definitely changing. You're either rekindling something, you're transforming, or you're changing your mind. That could be welcoming in a soulmate-type love for you. This is also bringing in some stability. You could meet this person through travels. Uh, every time I touch this card, it reminds me of, like, you might... They're showing me like a beach scene and I see um, like palm trees and umbrellas and I feel like you could meet somebody if you're at like a beach or maybe a tropical destination, but definitely something coming in bringing the happiness you're looking for. You need some boundaries, so you might not be ready to deal with this person. Again, pay attention to the red flags and the dragonfly. Something's coming to light. Whatever this is, you're going to need to adapt, change, and heal. All right, what are some harsh truths that my people in separation need to know? Harsh truths. Loving, devoted, kind, and affectionate. That's the unconditional love that's trying to come in for you if you're willing to let go of the past. Healthy relationship. Say yes. Engagement ring. Something better is coming in for you, but you got to do the work to get there, okay? Blame game. Stop. You are responsible for your actions. Is there something that you need to pay attention to? Do you need to take accountability somewhere or is somebody blaming you? However, it resonates. You might be just staying in your own lane when this person kind of comes into your life. Know that karmic debts must be paid in full. So if you've hurt somebody, there's karma attached to that. If somebody's hurt you, there's karma attached to that. And we are in Saturn, which is the planet of karma's retrograde. So know that karma sees everything. You cannot and will not escape it. And something has to be paid for that sacrifice. You could be welcoming in a soulmate, a twin flame, or a divine partnership. Slept like a baby with no worries. And check yourself before you wreck yourself. There's definitely some caution that you need to pay attention to. Change your mindset. You're going to change your life. I feel like the biggest thing is letting go of what isn't serving you. So what are some signs you need to not ignore? Signs they need to see and not ignore. Remember, we have pay attention to the red flags out here for you as well. All right, the melody, creating a pleasing sound, sing it out loud. Music can be really important. Watch out for spying eyes, monitoring spirits, spying and gossip. Somebody could definitely be watching you, so that could be a red flag. The lollipop, it's time to enjoy the sweeter things in life. All right, and straight to jail. So somebody could be feeling really, really stuck in a situation, could literally be going to jail, hopefully not, or feeling really confined. What else do we have here? Ooh, your crush could be coming forward. Um, someone definitely has feelings for you. I feel like they're a little hesitant to come forward, but you are about to elevate and go in a new direction. So expect some changes ahead. This is part of your ascension, and you will be entering a new timeline. All right, separation. What do we need to know for my people in separation? What do they need to know? Mm, you're manifesting something or someone new, that's for sure. I feel like your manifestations are going to come in when you least expect it. Like you've given up, you've lost hope that it's possible, and Spirit's like, ah, I got you, just a second. It's going to help you to recover from the heartbreak and pain that you might be experiencing. Grief, loss, mourning, something that really left its mark. This separation may have really done a number on you. You're working on healing, but it is time to walk away, going towards something that's new. You might be a little bit guarded, a little jaded, and a little cold and abrasive. Lower your sword in order for somebody new to actually come in. Trust slowly. You don't need to take everything so quickly. Don't jump in head first. Think about it logically and I feel like you'll be fine. But it's time to close out these toxic cycles once and for all. Release the X. Definitely let go of things like addiction, codependency, things with strings attached, or things that make you feel stuck and stagnant. Why? Because your divine counterpart is coming. The Emperor, Aries Energy. 
somebody that I feel like is going to come through and make a calculated move towards you. Somebody that helps offer stability. Somebody that you won't have to second guess their motives because they're truthful and honest. Somebody who's a natural leader. Somebody who is protective. He's an all around good guy. All right. When is this going to happen for my people in separation? Some sort of indecision is blocking it, so you need to decide what you want so it can come to you. And then with hour, within hours, things start to change. What else? Today, things are possibly changing for you. And 10 days from now, changes start to occur. 10 days from whenever you view this video. Triple zero, that's the beginning of a new phase. So eternity, oneness, and endless possibilities where it all begins. Daytime could be significant, and this might actually shock you. So shock, sudden changes, surprise, epiphany, it's time to transform. All right, my lovelies, last but not least, twin flames and soulmates. So let's see what's going on for you. How's life treating you? What do you need to know for the month of August? What does my twin flame collective need to know? All right, twin flames and soulmates. What do we need to know for the month of August? Bought my first car, adulting and being responsible with money. That's ironic that it comes out all three times. So some of y'all are being really good with your money. Congratulations, that's not always an easy task. And that you are finally maybe getting something that you need like a car. Celebrations, birthdays, anniversaries, good news and parties. Maybe you're attending something that's a positive celebration. Watch out for the dumpster fire or an oh shit moment. Okay, what else is going on here? You're fired, job loss, layoff, money worries, don't give up and keep going. So why do I get the stinking suspicion that it's like things are going really well and then it's a oh shit, what just happened? Don't worry, I feel like whatever is changing in your life is needing to change. And so even if you lose your job, know that there's always a better opportunity out there. I'm a real firm believer that if something is removed from your life, there's a good reason for it, it wasn't suited for you, and that spirit has something so much better for you coming in in its place, but you've gotta make the room. All right, one more of these. All right, running late. Time management is needed. More rest, a sleep routine. Set an extra alarm. So if you're feeling like you're rushing all the time, go to bed a few minutes earlier. Get up a few minutes earlier and try and actually set a routine. What do we need to know for love for our Twin Flame Collective? Twin Flames and Soulmates. There we go. All right. So somebody's made you feel like you're not enough in this situation. You might be really frustrated in a relationship, having lack of confidence, self-sabotaging, fear or ego issues, and jealousy. Those are some things you need to work through. The coffin tells us that something must end for a new opportunity to come in. So endings will bring in new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. You could be in the talking stage with somebody. It could be somebody new. It could be your divine counterpart. Interested, conversing more, and a weighted message arrives. Text, call, email, and hovering, waiting to hear from this person. Someone could be spying the sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Somebody could um, be stalking you online in real life. This person could really be like wanting to know what's going on. Are you with somebody else? Is it the right time to make a move? However that happens to transpire, I feel like you need to use a little bit of caution with that. And date. So someone could be asking you out on a date. Might be meeting somebody new, getting back out there, planning or setting a date. What else do we have? Ooh, an abundance coming in. We love to see that. So we go from money worries to abundance shift your mindset. I feel like that's the biggest obstacle for most of us. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, and use things like gratitude and bliss to get you there. What else do we need to know for twin flames and soulmates? Twin flames and soulmates, what do they need to know? All right, you might need to retreat. Some inner work or shadow work is needed, so disconnect from the world. This person is worth the wait, whoever this divine counterpart, twin flame, or soulmate is, but it happens in divine timing, not your timing, so patience is required. You also need to release an ex if you're stuck on them. It's time to clear your energy. Take the lesson and grow. There's something that you might need to learn from here, so forgive and forget and grow from that. <laughs> 
and keep an open mind. Your soulmate or person will be different from your usual type and expectations. So I feel like you need to be open to new possibilities because you have the date card out here as well. And know that you deserve love. So self-love and self-acceptance. Remember that you are lovable. What are some harsh truths that my twin flames and soulmates need to hear for the month of August? Twin flames and soulmates. There we go. Ooh, somebody is doing the work. A night and day difference when they resurface. I accept the truth for what it is. So know that if there's an ending, there is a reason for it. Trust and complete faith. Spirit knows exactly who and what you need. The one everyone warned you about. Be really cautious with that. I feel like there could be um, some gossip, some rumors floating around. I feel like this also comes out with the sunglasses, so there could be a lesson involved here. Remember, we're only accepting truth over the lies. No lies, only the truth. What else do we need to know? Come on, stinking cards don't want to shuffle today. All right, one more. The blame game. Stop. Know that you are responsible for your actions. So you deserve love. So stop blaming yourself or others for anything that's negative in your life. Take responsibility for what it is that's your part in this situation. Own your own shit. Make changes accordingly, especially if things are not working out well. All right, let's get you some signs to not ignore. What are the signs that my twin flame needs to pay attention to? Twin flames, what do they need to see? Labels, what are we? Ooh, interesting. Somebody is questioning everything and needing answers. I feel like you're gonna be put between a rock and a hard place in the month of August. And while you might not be labeling this situation, relationship, situationship, anything, I feel like the other person needs some answers. And you're not gonna be able to string them along. So you're gonna have to actually um, kind of step up to the plate. All right, the snake. So ground, shed your skin, transform, and rebirth. I feel like you are going through some sort of metamorphosis and like a shake, a shake, a snake sheds its skin. Lots of tongue twisters in today's readings, okay? So I feel like you need to go through this transformative energy, this metamorphosis, this rebirth in order to actually get to the good stuff. So let go of what isn't serving you. What else do we need to know? Somebody wants your attention. They're like, look at me, look at me. Attention seeking. Um, this could be somebody that maybe really has caught your eye is what I feel like as well. So there could be some conversations being had. Straight to jail. All right, somebody feels really stuck and trapped. I feel like it's this person that's watching you with the sunglasses. Are you willing to learn the lesson, forgive and forget and let go? Because if you do, we have the leapfrog. There's a giant leap forward. We have the date, keep an open mind, truth coming out, and somebody new coming in. And the key, movement, house, job, relationship, and a new phase. So you might be changing a lot. You have the you're fired job loss card. Oh, bottom of the deck, we have committed. So somebody definitely wants commitment. I feel like your twin flame maybe actually coming in with some sort of offer of abundance, a commitment, maybe keys to a new property, a home, um, any sort of like um, newness is what I'm getting. So you could be getting the keys to the kingdom is what Spirit's saying. Committed. I feel like this person wants to put a label on it where maybe they didn't before. Something is drastically changing and they're realizing that if they snooze, they're about to lose. That's what I have for you, my lovelies. Have a wonderful month of August. We'll see you soon.